Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimera Dimensions reality update video, episode 4. And it's been a couple hours since last episode, and I have most of the achievements, but not quite all of the pre-reality ones yet. And we can gain E263 infinity points, but this is before unlocking the next infinity dimension. Well, unfortunately, this costs E250, so... I was kind of hoping that I was going to be able to really um, get somewhere with that, but no, I can't. I'm going to have to just reset and gain 22 orders of magnitude of infinity points. And this will allow me to just get all, get the seventh infinity, infinity dimension and the multipliers. And I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even going to get a replicante galaxy because that, that's going to take a long time. And I, and I, I don't want to, I don't want to have to recover that if I don't have to do that. So, yeah, that's why I'm holding off on that. And I'm still able to actually progress. I'm hoping to make it to Eternity without needing to wait for Replicanti to rise back up again. I'm not sure if we're quite going to make it. We're very close to the 8th infinity, infinity Dimension, so that's kind of my hope there. We, we got a couple more upgrades, a couple more of these. 55, 58, 59, 2, 59, 3, 59, 4. We're almost there. I can like feel oh, there we are. Galaxy. I just need E280 infinity points. And there we go. Eighth infinity dimension. That's gonna help me quite a bit. Yeah, E288. So that's a few ores of magnitude. We're very close to eternity now. Like we're yeah, very Obviously, we're very close. We just need to see if we can get here. Um, it seems like now, now I'm only now I can gain a Replicante Galaxy every ten minutes and thirty seconds, so it isn't as bad as it was before. So, like, that's very nice. If I really do need to do this, it's not like that, not all that big of a deal, and I feel like I can make it. Like. Maybe what I can do is I can, on the very last run, I can get a Replicante Galaxy to just get, just for that final push, the E308. And I don't really see myself needing to go any further because, I mean, we know what Eternity is. Just having access to the Time Study Tree is huge. So that's why I'm just going to Eternity as soon as possible here. And... Yeah, do I want, do I, I'm going to do one more run, E305, Infinity Points, and now I'm going to I'm gonna go for the Replicante Galaxy. Now. Um, I don't need this confirmation. So, yeah, that, that pushed me over the line. Eternity for one Eternity Point. Yes, here we go. Looks like there's an animation for that as well. So, yeah, we're probably going to, I'm probably going to want to get this with my eternity points because yeah that's tick speed upgrades are always good so i have every eternity milestone up to six so this gives me the infinity point most part on a buyer i start with all normal challenges and all that um basically this is like three times two it's i'm getting two times eternities from like an achievement and then i'm getting three times from the reality upgrade so, yeah, th I just wanted to skip a lot of the grinding at this point. That's why I decided I elected to pick this. I also get the Replicante Galaxy Auto Buyer. Um, I start Eternity with all Infinity upgrades. I unlock more Big Crunch Auto Buyer options. And while offline, I gained 25% of my best Eternity points per minute from pre previous Eternities. So, yeah, it's all really good stuff here. So, yeah, this is already on. I will have to rebuy these, but these aren't as bad as the regular ones. Actually, these, these are about as bad as the regular ones, but they aren't even that bad. Like, E33. The only things I really need to redo is the Infinity Challenges, because, well, actually, I don't need to redo my Infinity Challenges. I, why is that? I think it's because of an achievement. Um, It's like... One of the later ones that that I think gives me like 
makes it so I don't need to do this. Yeah, it's this one. It's I barely have it. It says you start turn these with all infinity challenges unlocked and completed. So that, that means it's basically just a straight shot to um to eternity. The only thing is that the only thing I really need to do is just click this button and get my infinity dimensions and maybe some replicanti stuff and that's it. Like that that's crazy. And then of course there's the eternity stuff, but being able to do this on just my first eternity is a game changer. So yeah, you can see already already up to fifth infinity dimensions. I can probably I'm probably purchase some time studies here. So you can get this. I'm not really sure what I want next. So I'm just gonna go with this. Which will boost time dimensions even further as if they weren't powerful enough already. We're, we're going to get Replicanti stuff, which already seems to be twice as fast. I, is this do? Is this? I want, this may just be a balancing change. I'm not sure, actually, why. I I feel like it's a balancing change instead of something to do with reality. Maybe maybe we can like go here. Um, anything to do with Replicanti? I don't really see anything actually to do with Replicanti. There's just like eternities, time dimensions. Antimatter part production. It's like it's not really that much. So we're just we're just gonna keep doing this because it's easy to do and I mean not much more than it's easy to do and I don't need to do much else because everything else is automated or completed already except the replicanti stuff. Which I will be. I've, I'm gonna get six more eternities. Um, I'm gonna get. S the more eternity milestones from this it'll this one's useless kind of because i already have this and um this is useful this is i feel like i already have this so it's useless and then this is nice this is nice this is nice it's not everything but once i get to 18 that's going to be just enough to really get almost everything automated and that is just two eternities away so really, really not far. I'm just going to briefly check if I have my Sacrifice Auto Buyer. I do have my Sacrifice Auto Buyer on. So, oh yeah, I just, I just need to get this. I've kind of been slacking on this. So now I can get E224 Infinity Points. I can probably get even more. Actually, the, the milestone here is actually useful because I'm noticing it's buying galaxies one by one. And... That's kind of slowing things down. So, yeah, I'm just really going to be going for the Eternities as soon as possible. So, actually, I'm going to go here. This is kind of useless. I'm going to instead go to the left and get this, because this will boost things. Like, a lot. This, this will actually boost things, because I'm not going to be going much beyond the regular Eternity. I'm not even sure if I'm going to get infinite replicanti, but this multiplier is going to be very useful for for my purposes here. So things have slowed down a little bit. It doesn't seem that bad yet, but looks like we already got new infinity dimensions. So things are speeding up at least a little bit once again, and I'm just I'm going to keep this time study build. Because I really just want to just reach eternity fast instead of try to push beyond. At least at least until I get 18 eternity so I can automate everything. And I guess this is why. I mean, maybe choosing like dilated time or something was a better idea. But I really didn't want to have to deal with this part of the game. Where it's just the same thing over and over and over again, and there really isn't any way you can speed up. Like you can't just you can't even just wait it out, which that that's what I hate. If like an active grind that you can't get rid of by waiting something out. And it wouldn't really make for good content. Like I mean I guess I could just do it off camera, but I don't need extra work. And yes, playing this game kind of technically counts as work because this is my YouTube channel and I need to, you know, work on my YouTube channel.
<laughs> it's it's weird. It's not it's not just about playing this game. It's about editing, making the thumbnail, everything else. It's not what it's cracked up to be. But anyway, we can eternity for another eternity point. Actually, before before we do this, I am going to get as many time theorems as I can, just so I can get this. I don't think it's going to be all that powerful, but it'll be something. So here we go. One more eternity. And there isn't really anything I can get beyond, like, another time theorem. That's really the only thing I can do with this eternity point. Now I'm going to toggle all the auto buyers on. I, ha I seem to have the break infinity stuff. Yes, I do. I have Replicanti unlocked. Not really sure what is... Oh, I, I, I need to actually unlock first. So I, I, still, I still need to press these buttons. Um... And I still need to actually buy the infinity dimensions like this. I just have to do one more eternity. It's really going to be almost the same thing as last eternity, except it's going to be faster because I'm going to be buying max galaxies. I think, I think that's what it's doing. I'm actually going to check real quick what it's doing. So, yeah, it's just buying as many as I can. So... There, therefore, the only thing I really need to do is just click two buttons over and over again. And then, a every now and then, buy some Replicanti upgrades. Which, kind of, I kind of need that to actually progress in the game. Because the Infinity Dimensions are just not, not powerful enough without Replicanti. Like, if I go, I, if I go to Statistics... This is like really interesting. Like infinity dimensions. See, yeah, you can see Replicanti multipliers play, playing an increasingly large role. Even actually, this is almost nothing. But yeah, the Replicanti multiplier is kind of what gets me, gets me over the hump here, or gets anyone over the hump, not just me. But y you know what I mean. I'm just going to do the rest of this eternity off camera because this is kind of just boring. And that did not take long. That took like maybe 30 seconds to reach eternity from there. So here we go. Eternity. Now we can have all of the auto buyers. So the only thing I can... I'm just, I'm just going to press C to crunch because I don't like <laughs> doing it another way. So at, at this point, I do need to actually start pushing a little bit so this is where things might slow down slightly but yeah i also need to actually you know get the replicanti upgrades because i need that infinity dimension multiplier i'm also going to turn this off for now because i just want the multiplier and i don't want to wait like an hour to get replicated galaxies so you can see just how quick it is to reach eternity. It's like, it's like a minute to two minutes at this point. Like you're gonna actually see how much eternity points per minute once I start. Once I get to E three oh eight infinity points. Yeah, I just got to E three oh eight eternity infinity points. It looks like I can get. I can do an eternity just under two minutes. So, and also I can get a Repli Replicani Galaxy every seven minutes and 50 seconds. So that's actually a pretty big improvement from something like, even like 10 or 15 minutes. And it just keeps going down. Now it's six minutes and 32 seconds. So that's kind of what I'm going to be going for. I'm just going to be doing little runs at this point because there isn't really anything better to do. And they... And these little runs give me um, some additional like infinity dimension stuff and all that. Now it's down to 5 minutes and 29 seconds. So it's just really, yeah, all this is helping. Maybe there's some, I want to see if I can go for any time studies. The, unfortunately, the next one is at E80,000 antimatter, E400 infinity points at 2 eternity points. And that's what I'm probably going to need to get time study 41, which gives me a 1.2 multiplier to infinity points gained. 
and it's it's based on your galaxy so it's about e7 i like that it get, it tells you everything now like you don't have to just guess like that's like really nice quality of life stuff the thing is it doesn't even seem all that powerful that, that's the it's kind of the tricky thing about it like it's strange how weak that actually is like yes seven orders minus infinity points turns into like 10 with just the doublers but it's not really allowing me to push farther. It's putting me in a in a very interesting, like early eternity zone that is where like getting to eternity is trivial, but pushing any significant distance is not trivial. So, I mean, reality is helping here, but it's not actually helping that much. Like if we go to antimatter production here, I don't know how much of it's actually. Like, for example, if I go here, the glyph effects are doing about 3%. So, that means, like, you can see I have, like, E364 infinity points. About maybe 10 to 12 orders of magnitude of that can be attributed to, to the glyph. So, it isn't actually that powerful. I mean, there are other stuff, like, uh, 4 times infinity point multiplier, which also isn't right very powerful but yeah i mean we actually i'm actually i'm starting to get somewhere here i am i can get two eternity points i am now up to e80,000 antimatter i want to want to get this e400 affinity points though that's what's really gonna allow me to to gain to, to get that time study make attorneys even more trivial and be able to push farther and I feel like there actually is something in reality that is causing Replicanti to be faster. Because um, it's below 50 milliseconds, even though it's supposed to be limit. I'm actually able to push a lot farther than I than I thought. Maybe the glyph effect starting to um, really do something. I'm not really sure why. I'm going to keep doing it. It seems to be actually be get, making it faster than before. Maybe it's even to the point where I can get that time study in, in this run. And also I'm up to E3, right, Replicanti. So that is something to consider. I can get a replicated galaxy every minute and 37 seconds. So I, I can get three eternity points here, but the next time theorem is at E100,000 antimatter. I could try to push for this. If I, I could just try to do a final push by getting a replicated galaxy here. So let's just do that. And it's it's not quite enough here. It's not allowing me to get all the way to E100,000 antimatter. So maybe the strat... I'm not sure what the strat is, actually. I just got a useless achievement here from the, <laughs> the auto achievement thing. Maybe the strategy is to actually start going for Replicanti interval upgrades instead. We get... And then maybe I could get this, which stacks like this. I'm, I, I don't know. I kind of want to go to the left, though. Because then if I do even one to the left, the three eternity points will, will give me a grand total of four. Which will be one time theorem, and that's it. It'll be one less than this, which is actually kind of weak, so I don't really need that. So, I think... I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait for this next replicated galaxy. If I can get four eternity points, I, I will do that. If I can't, then I'll just get three, and we will just go from there. So crunch, it is unfortunately still at three. So let's get that. I'm gonna end the episode here. Next episode, I'm gonna go for just to see if I can get further down the study tree, and it's gonna be interesting. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.